hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today we are going to install windows 11 and then if by some reason you don't want to keep windows 11 we are going to check on how easy it is to revert to windows 10 without losing anything now i must say that i already did this a few minutes ago i was recording the video for the first time on my portuguese channel so i already know the steps but nonetheless i wanted to share them with you and to share my opinion regarding windows 11. now some systems might already have on the updates and if we go to update and security uh, your system might say okay you will be able to download windows 11 and install it i have uh, one at least system that doesn't have compatibility and i do believe that it's because of space it's a mini computer so if that's your case if you can't install by some reason what we are going to do is to go to google um, and on Google we are going to write Windows uh, Windows 11 download and we will have the option right over here and actually this is in Portuguese, Portuguese. let's change this to so here we are just change that right over there to English and um, in here we will find this page that says that there are three different ways we are going to use the first one which is Windows 11 installation assist so we are going to download the tool and install but there are other two ways one which is to create a Windows 11 installation media and the other one download Windows 10 uh, disk image now the one that I would suggest if you want to keep your Windows 11 system or any other operating system would be step number two which is to create a USB drive then we can install clean the whole system and have a fresh install but that i own advice to do if you really want to stay with windows 11. if you want to try it out and don't mess anything and possibly revert to windows 10 then what i would suggest is to go to the first one which is the one that we are going to do right now download and which already did open file and once we open the file uh, it will give us this menu right over here we are going to accept and install it will start to download and this will depend on the uh, speed of your uh, network i'm connected via the net right over here using by the way the lenovo legion 5 which is a beast of a laptop if you haven't watched the review check the link right over here this computer is just awesome and it blows some of the desktops that we have so this is a hybrid machine now as you could see step number one was quick was the download step number two i didn't even read but was preparing something so really quickly then step number three will be quick up to 70 percent more or less and then it will take a little bit longer but um so that you don't wait we will keep this as short as possible Okay, just finished the third step and as you could see it will take a long time from 70% up to 100% being that it will take from 70 to 80 a lot and then from 80 to 100 is just like that which was what happened now Windows 11 is installed all we need to do now is to restart now and the computer will uh, reboot and here we are so this is windows 11 working and um we will have everything as it was on windows 10 now we might have some errors for example i've got river turner right over here giving me this error but uh, i believe that with time things will get improved and um, some bugs here and there will get better now in my personal opinion I really enjoyed the look of it i love windows 10 but i do believe that we were needing a refresh and it is nice so here we have the uh, first menu if you want to go to all apps it's right over here probably it could be a little bit better similar to mac os that we can show off all the apps on the big screen that is a good idea for the next update i don't know and then we have here to search uh, we have right over here the virtual desktops the widgets this is something really nice we have the widgets right over here on the left side 
it's a great thing then we have the browser but of course we can have more shortcuts like right over here and basically this is it so we can go to our settings menu and right now if you want to revert back to windows 10 by any reason doesn't matter we just need to go to the settings system and then right over here we have recovery and one of the options is go back uh, to windows 10 if this version version isn't working try going back to windows 10 and what we are going to do right now is to go back um, the questions are now yeah now are the questions not while we are installing but we are uh, when we are uninstalling so i'm just gonna say for another reason next check for updates no thanks i'm okay uh, what you need to know, this might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it's done. Leave your PC plugged in, of course, and after going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and program. You'll lose... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you can read that. If you need the uh, password, yeah, that's okay. Next, thanks for trying Windows 11. If you're not missing improved search, security and startup, come back to Windows 11 anytime. Okay, let's go back to Windows 10. And this is going to be quick. And that is it, here we are back with Windows 10 like we have never left. So this is just a great experience. For those of you that are wondering, okay, I want to try 11, but I'm not really sure if I want to stick with it and or if I want to reverse back to Windows 10, then this is the way to go. Really easy, you can try it out and check for yourself if the apps work better or worse. And then if you need to reverse, then go. There is one more thing that I would like to mention, which is uh, we did the first step on the installation, but if you decide to stick up with Windows 11 or any other operating system, I always suggest uh, to create the USB thumb drive and then install it a clean installation. Just boot up from that installation USB drive, follow the steps, and then you will have everything clean up instead of having the 11 on top of the 10th. It's not on top, but you know what I mean. I prefer a clean installation but to try it out this is the best method that i found so far and guys this is it hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated here on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one